Happy May Day. Well, happy May Day if you're watching this the day it came out anyway. I remember going out onto the playground at recess in elementary school and tying jump ropes around a flagpole and then marching around in circles because it was May 1st. That was all I knew about May Day. One of the teachers said it was a celebration of summertime, but I was confused as to what twisting jump ropes around a flagpole had to do with summertime. My confusion only grew when I found out that May Day was also a universal distress signal. It wasn't until I was an adult that I learned that May Day the holiday and May Day the distress signal had nothing to do with each other. In England in the early 1920s, a guy named Frederick Mockford had been given the task of coming up with a word that would indicate distress and would easily be understood universally by pilots and ground crew in an emergency. Because of their proximity to France and the fact that a lot of French-speaking people were in that area, he landed on May Day. The term May Day is the phonetic equivalent of the French word May Day, which translates as help me. It, was, it became official and was decided that anyone who wished to declare an emergency should state May Day three times in rapid succession. I get that their desire was to standardize a distress signal so that everyone would understand to come up with one specific way of calling out for help, but I am so glad that I don't have to remember a specific word or phrase when I call out to God. I just call out. The psalmist wrote, in my trouble, I call to the Lord. I called to my God for help in his temple. He heard my voice. He listened to my cry for help. My God hears, understands, and responds to my pleas for help. And that's great news. Call out to him as a first response, not a last resort.